Hi, in this tutorial we will be looking at breath first traversals. Uh, have you ever wondered why it is called breath first? Actually in breath first traversals uh, we first uh, try to look at all the neighbors of a node which is in contrast to the first traversal where we keep on going away from a node. Now let's discuss certain rules of breath first traversals. First of all, all the nodes will be marked white. Then as we traverse a node, it will be uh, sent to a queue and it will be marked grey. So at any instance the queue will hold all the grey nodes. Then we will dequeue one node from the uh, queue holding these all grey nodes and we will mark that uh, dequeued node as black. We will uh, find out all the neighbors of that black node and uh, enqueue them. So in each iteration we are basically uh, dequeuing one element from this uh, queue of grey elements and uh, then we are uh, enqueuing all the discovered neighbors of that uh, node. Now let's see how it is done. In the very beginning all the nodes are uh, marked with distance infinity. Then we start at the root as s and uh, its distance is set to be 0. Now we color it grey and then we will be uh, enqueuing it. After this we discover uh, the neighbors of uh, this node and it is uh, marked black and it is dequeued. The discovered vertices are colored grey and the distance is updated. Since R and W is at a unit distance so we update the distance as 1 and notice that uh, both of them have been enqueued now. Now in the next step we will be uh, finding the neighbor of R. So as uh, we found Z to be the neighbor of R, we dequeued R and marked it black and then the distance of Z is updated. Remember this distance is from the uh, root from where we started. Now as you notice Z has been enqueued now and next W will be dequeued and we will be looking for its neighbors. Uh, w goes out and now we will be enqueuing T and X. Notice that T and X have been uh, updated with their distance from S, S2 and as we enqueue t and x the next to be dequeued is z so we will be looking for the neighbors of z in the next step and we find that there are no white nodes adjacent to z so z is simply dequeued and it is marked black now the next to be dequeued is t so we found, uh, found out uh, u to be adjacent to t is dequeued and marked black and then u will be enqueued now. u is also enqueued. Next to be dequeued is x. We find that y is adjacent to x so y will be enqueued this time and x will be dequeued and marked black and uh, notice the distance of y will be 3 this time. Now if you uh, next to be dequeued will be u but there is no white node adjacent to u so uh, it will be simply dequeued and marked black and then we will be looking at y because that will be the only element left in the queue at the time and then we will again find no white element adjacent to y so it will be simply dequeued and this completes our breadth first traversal.